The Osceola County on Aging is a local nonprofit that provides social service programming, including services to help frail older adults maintain their in independence. Wendy Ford is here to give us an overview of the services offered. And Wendy, thank you for coming in and telling us all about the Osceola County on Aging. Now, Council on Aging for Osceola County. Uh -huh. So tell us what kind of services, just kind of briefly, that are offered. Well, we have many services. Our, our focus is to help um, the sen all seniors stay in their homes independently as long as possible. So we're able to bring services into the home to help them stay independent. We have nutrition services, mm -hmm. which is home delivered meals. We also do congregate meal sites that they can come and interact with other seniors. We have um, an adult day healthcare center that is a medical model. So we're able to give um, skilled nursing and medications throughout the day to people that have cognitive ability mm -hmm. uh, and abilities. And we have um, an in-home department that goes out mm -hmm. and does personal care, companionship, homemaking. Right, I'd like, to, I'd like to really delve yeah. into those yeah. actually to get the, the details on those different sure. services. But you know, how does someone just generally apply? Is there an eligibility, a wait list? Yeah, kind of, kind of that, they how all, do they it, get involved? It's, it's kind of all over the board with the eligibility. A lot of it is targeted at your income. Um, mm -hmm. Some of it is not. Like we, we are the uh, VA provider for Osceola County. So we're able to take people that have higher incomes that are on the VA program ah. uh, in our daycare and, and also in our in-home department. That's great. So veterans can also yes, take advantage. Absolutely. Actually, anyone can absolutely. take advantage of yes. this by contacting yes. you. Now, some of those things that you touched on, the, the housing assistance or affordability. Now, what's involved there? For our housing programs, we, we do have, uh, we own our own housing portfolio of, of senior housing. Mm -hmm. So we have apartment complexes, we have single family homes that we are able to house low income seniors, families, disabled adults, and veterans. And then kind of going along with that, mm -hmm. you have a rehab program for yes. housing. So if someone, I don't know, needed uh, some basic home repairs, yes. maybe they uh, they needed a ramp installed, something yes. like that. We have, that we have several actually um, rehab programs. So we have weatherization and we are the weatherization contact for Osceola and Orange County. Mm -hmm. So that is to go in the home and, and make it more energy efficient and that is for low income persons. We also have a helping home balance Helping Homebound Heroes program, and that is for the veterans in Orange and Osceola as well. And we can go in and do the ramps and, and repairs right. in, in the veterans' homes. That's without an income limit. So you, they don't have to be low income to oh, be on that program. that's terrific. So yeah. they, can, they can contact. Obviously, we'll have all the yes, information yes. that folks can get in touch yeah, with. We you. also have a chore program. So mm -hmm. the chore program can go out and, and aid the seniors that are frail in their homes that just cannot maintain their homes. So we get extra ah. funding for that as well to make sure that they're able. So that's for low income population and or anybody. So we can do it on a sliding scale or whatever. Sure. We just, we want to fill the need. And you did mention a medical clinic. Mm -hmm. So how, how is that involved? Yes, we have a, a uh, indigent health clinic and that is for uninsured or uh, undocumented persons, mm -hmm. 18 years of age or older. We do primary care and we have a doctor on staff. We also do secondary care with volunteer doctors that have sovereign immunity. So. And something I really wanted to touch on is you have a medical equipment bank mm -hmm. where folks can you know check on getting an item or also donating. So just yes. quickly tell us about yes. that. We have a medical bank that, that is um, just solely uh, by the equipment is donated to us. So we are able to give it out to the community for free. So and if they need medical equipment, they can call us. We have any durable medical equipment. So uh, wheelchairs, walkers, hospital beds on occasion. Um, yeah, see that's true. Anything I think that so they need. Yeah, yeah, so many times elders are worried about affording that item yes. of equipment and yeah. here they can yeah. find sometimes that. Sometimes right it's temporary. Here. Sometimes they, they've had a knee replacement. They need you mm -hmm. know extra equipment then they give it back. So whatever it is, shower chairs, so they can just call or look on our website. Right. And, give us and let's give a shout out to your volunteers because I know volunteers yes. are the backbone of any agency. Yes. yes, the council actually started 50 years ago with volunteers serving Meals on Wheels and it's no different today. We still need many volunteers to, to make sure that we can do what we do best. And transportation, is that provided as yes, well? Yes, it is. We provide transportation to our adult day care and we do it for our um, congregate meal sites and then also for our housing residents to go shopping. Wendy, I've learned so much about the programs and services at the Osceola Council on Aging. Thanks so much for stopping by.